If you've been paying attention to what's going on in the Shiba Inu market, you might think that we're always putting out fires. When one problem is fixed, it seems like another one pops up out of nowhere. The most current problem has nothing to do with anything else but the Shiba Inu logo. But you'll have to keep watching this movie to find out what it's all about. Disclaimer if you are new to the Shiba Inu market, you might not know how the Shiba Inu image came to be. You probably think that the development team made it, like they do with every other project. But that isn't the case. The Shiba Inu coin came out on the cryptocurrency market in August 2020. But it didn't have a logo. But not long after the site went live, Swiss graphic artists noticed that Waldo Emerson had made a logo. He shared it on social media with a growing group of Shiba Inu lovers, and they liked it. So the image became the official one for Shiba and us. Unfortunately, the designer and the development team did not make any written agreements about how the logo could be used. Also, Valdemarsen did not register the image as a trademark himself. But Valdemarsen is now saying that he doesn't like how the logo is being used to make money. He says you can get a tattoo or put this on your car or t-shirt and everything will be fine. But if you put it on a pack of cigarettes and call them Shiva cigarettes, that's how you'll make money from it. And that's where I want you to be honest, if you're going to do that. So, in a nutshell, he doesn't mind if people use the image. His problem is that he can't tie it to something that makes money. But, as I said before, there were no official deals. It was just like by the community, so the image was used. So it might be hard for the artist to come back many months later and tell you what you can and can't do with the logo. Also, the logo isn't a trademark, so Valdemar's son doesn't own it entirely. This could mean that he doesn't have the right to say what the logo can or can't be used for. Still, I'm not a lawyer, so it would be best for you to talk to one. So, a lawyer for intellectual property at the law company Harris Bricken, for Derek Rochefort, who is a watcher guru, told the news that Valdemarsen has legal rights in most places. Rochefort said that even if artists don't register their work, they still have ownership rights because of a legal theory. So it looks like Valdemarsen, not the development team, decides what the Shiba Inu brand can and cannot be used for. Valdemarsen has no problem with the image being used for the real Shiba Inu project, just to be clear. He has a problem with the other businesses that look like they are connected, and he thinks that the development team shouldn't just let anyone put the name on their business. Valdemarsen has said that if things keep going the way they are, he might have to go to court. And no one knows what will happen to the businesses that already use the sheep image. Still, they might need to change their names. If Valdemarsen really wants to go to court, he will. If you thought this was really helpful, please leave a review and tell your friends about this video. It really helps with YouTube's algorithm, which makes it easier for me to keep making better movies. Now for some good news. The first batch of wallets made from sheep is about to be sent out. Even though I've said it before, I'll say it again, the launch of the sheep wallets was probably the fastest start we've ever had in the Shiba Inu market. The idea was announced in May, and the first batch of Shiba Inu cold wallets will be sent to their owners in just over two months. I can't help but think that the process was sped up to get a bigger share of the market. Ledger lost some users because of an unwelcome update a couple of months ago, just to jog your mind. The update was meant to make it easier to get back lost tokens, but instead, it made users' information public on the internet. Many people didn't like this, so they took their tokens off the register. Some of these people have completely given up on using third-party crypto storage, while others have been looking for a safer choice. Now that Shiba Inu is on the market, it might be able to get some of these second group of people. Even though there are no promises, this seems like a good plan if that's what the development team was thinking. Those who pre-ordered the sheep wallets have gotten emails telling them when they can expect to get them. The projected delivery date is July 24, but a second email will be sent with the tracking number or a link to check on the wallet's progress. Tangam is also giving you a discount on your first buy if you are still thinking about getting the wallet. The code for the discount is HAPPY10. Now that the Shiba is in your wallet, everyone wants to know when Shibarium will be released. Some people are even using the date that Wallace came out to guess when Shibarium will come out. 
Satoshi Kusamashima told Watcher Guru that the lead creator Shibarium will be ready by August. So, based on the launch of Tangam Sheep, both goods seem to be headed for a release almost at the same time. But the Sheep team hasn't said when Shibarium will come out just yet. Even though it has been thought that the launch will happen in August in the past, there is no official date yet. In fact, the last part is very important. The development team hasn't given us a specific release date yet, so we shouldn't put too much stock in any estimate, no matter how likely it seems. Also, you should only get information about Shiba Inus from official Shiba Inu sites. Many bad people try to scam people out of their money, so it's important to be careful. Bowen's price has been going up lately, which is interesting. This is probably because people are excited for Shibarium to come out in just one week. The price of Bowen went up by more than 14, and it went up by over 46 in the last week. Bowen is now worth more than $1, and it looks like it will only keep going up as the start of Shibarium gets closer. One more thing before we leave for the day. Shiba Inu tokens have been used in more than just Bowen's case. But before we talk about that, this station gives away 100,000 sheep every day to give people a chance to join the giveaway. Just subscribe to this channel, like this movie, and leave a comment below. Hashtag Shiba Inu. Good luck! The main token sheep has also seen a huge rise in big transactions in the past few months. There were more big purchases worth about $8 million made in just 24 hours. Monday was a great day because the number of big deals doubled on that day. Outflows, on the other hand, went up during the same time period. Yesterday, more than 900 billion sheep were taken out of different wallets. Outflows happen all the time, but this one is a lot. Plus, it's a big jump from the average amount of tokens that leave the system, which is about 100 billion. So, some experts say that even the money coming in could be a sign that people are getting ready to sell. That is, they think that those inputs weren't really made by whales trying to get more sheep. They seem to think that the inflows were made by whales, but the money went to exchanges. When tokens are moved to exchanges in this way, it is generally in preparation for a sell-off. Still, I want to warn you that this is just guesswork. There is still a good chance that those inflows came from whales stocking up on sheep, possibly in preparation for the launch of Shibarium. So it's important not to base your money choices on what you hear. Make sure to do your own study and come to your own conclusions. Your coins are on the queue. After all, that's the last thing we're going to talk about in this video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and say something in the comments. This helps me a lot with how YouTube works. Also, please let as many people as possible know about this movie. Let's tell everyone about this.